Hello everybody, I'm here with my hunt for the second weekend of April and I might try something a little bit different with this video. I'm gonna show you what I dug and then show you what I dug up about what I dug. Uh, but these are some things that I didn't actually record digging this weekend. I don't record everything. A lot of times I don't know what I've got or I don't think it's gonna be that interesting. Part of it's because I'm using an iPhone which is in a pocket. I gotta pull a glove off and everything. Uh, future investment, I might go for a GoPro. Um, so these are some of the things I didn't film. So I got this Pepsi Cola bottle and this one is from 56. This Coke bottle, which is from 55. And this Pepsi bottle, which would have had a paper label on it and it is from 43. There you can see that. Little metal, metal doohickey. Uh, this is the cover of a razor blade. Razor blade refill. I don't know what these are, but I find them and there's something familiar about them. So someday it'll dawn on me. This is part of a knapsack. A buckle. Uh, another buckle here. A couple of cartridge shells. This was strange, it really confused me. It appears to be metal, but it wasn't, my pinpointer wasn't hitting it except for one little tiny spot. So I'm not sure what was the deal with that, but it's a, a hinge. Um, and then this pen, which I have another pen similar to this, although it's green, um, and that one has the more calligraphy type tip, which is 14 karat gold. Unfortunately, this one does not have that. And then this light bulb, which I just thought was interesting because the light bulb is totally broken, but it has the blue coloring bubble still intact. So those are the finds that you're not gonna see me dig, but obviously I dug them. Now onto the ones I dug. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, April 9th. I'm out hitting things. Haven't found too much so far for the day. Um, digging something on my back though. I did pick up, unfortunately it's broken, but gorgeous piece of uh, milk glass, wish it had been whole, and a comb, which I just dropped out of my bag. <laughs> but I've got this find now, looks like we've pulled out a lock for the day, so always love getting those. Right, we'll get that cleaned up, and we'll see you at the next. Okay, so here is that lock all cleaned up, or as clean as I'm going to do. It was, it's a Yale lock. To the bottom there and the area that I was digging in this weekend uh, I think was a trash pile um, but it has a lot of charcoal in it so possibly burned so that might be why this is uneven as it may have been heated up at one point all right the next this one took a bit of work but it was well worth it we got half the mess kit here and it's a nice and shiny one that'll be a good thing to put display pieces in all right, we'll see you at the next. Here is the mess kit. It came out nice and clean. It has just a scratch on it. That doesn't appear to be anything super on purpose. And nothing engraved on the back. The area I was in, I did pull out more stuff from the 50s. So it might not be quite as old as some of the others, but it'll make a nice little tray to put things in. Well, this one's been an adventure to get. You can see my... my coil there. I've got this log, which I then went under and dug out this signal. This seems to be coming a theme, but we have a coin pack prophylactic now. have to check the dates and stuff on that out. Obviously, I already cleaned it up, but uh, we'll get back to you on some history of this. Here's a close-up of that, the coin pack, and it does have a U.S. patent number on it. Uh, it was patented in 1934. Um, could be anywhere from the 30s to through the 50s from what I can tell on this. Um, no expiration date so you know it's a bit older without that and no I have I have no interest in opening this up but it appears to be an intact case. And just a, another one to add to what is becoming a rather ridiculous collection of old condoms. Excellent! Well everybody I've got a first for me out here. Got this big old thing. It is a really old canteen. That thing is crusty. 
and full of water. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting. Let's see if I can't get some of the water out of it and carry it out with me. All right, I did haul this big boy out. It certainly was heavy. You might have noticed in the video of digging it that it looked a little bit wet on one end. I had hit it with my shovel, and honestly, I just made that hole a little bit bigger to get it to drain out because there was no way... I don't even know if that's a cap on there. That's just rusty massiveness. Um, I've gotten the large chunks off, but I don't know that it's going to come any cleaner. Maybe someday I'll put it in uh, electrolysis, but... I'm kind of content with it as it is. All right, I've just kicked out a coin, so let's see what it is. Also, just got stung by the stinging nettle. Looks like it's a rosy. Might even be modern. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it. Yeah, it's a 1987. All right. Right next to that canteen. Too bad. All right. On to the next. Kind of be laughing at me because I was really hoping it was silver, even though it didn't look like it at all. But everything I dug out from around it was from the 50s, if not earlier. So what the heck was an 87 dime doing out there? It's the only coin I found, and it's also the only semi-modern thing I pulled out. So... Can't win them all. Just kicked out a key here, little tiny one. Show you what that looks like later. All right, here's that little tiny key cleaned up. You can see the manufacturer mark in there, Taylor Manufacturing, and it has a W etched on it on both sides. So it either belonged to somebody whose name was W or W was short for whatever it unlocked. There we go. I just stumbled on a great surface find here. Check this out. I think it might be a cigarette lighter style. We'll definitely uh, look into that. But that is totally awesome. All right, we'll see you at the next. I just love this little gun. Um, so it got even cooler as I cleaned it up. Let's see if we can get the, the light to hit on the bottom plate here. Made in occupied Japan. So I did my research on this, and that means it would have been made sometime between August 1945 and April 1952 um, in Japan. And so these were brought back, and this one also has some etching. So somebody with the initials DF brought this back and used it. Um, you would pull this trigger and this part here would pop up and I assume a flame would come out somewhere in there. This is not popping up anymore but the trigger does still move. You can see that. Um, and this screw I'm going to need to see if I can't get it to tighten up but so far I haven't had any luck. And I think this is going to make an excellent display piece. Absolutely love that I found it. Just found another goodie here. Got a collar disc. All right, we're gonna keep looking. Here is a shot of that collar disc all cleaned up. Did pretty well. Doesn't really have much gilt on it or anything. Little bit shining through in spots, but I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Both of the posts are broke off and no pin back. I did find a pin back in the area though, so it might've been part of that. That's what she looks like. Just pulled this out. I've rubbed it up a bit. I think it might be there may be a kid's sheriff's badge or a good luck token, something. Can't see anything on it yet, word wise, but I'll uh, clean it up at home. Ring up pretty good. Looks like there might be some words on it or something. We'll check that out later. So this is beat up, but I do think it is a good luck token, uh, probably from a World's Fair. I know they had printing machines at those. This backside. Just has sort of a weave pattern. I haven't been able to make out any words um, or flag or anything that would normally be in the center there. This side, however, does have 
a little bit on it. And I think we're gonna have to get creative here. And you see that little band in the center there? That is a patent date, as near as I can tell. And so I'll pop up right next to this here what I think it was, but a good luck token of some type. Maybe from the 30s, 40s, somewhere around there. All right, we got another collar disc. You got feel the artillery. Cool. All right, here it is with all of the dirt off, well, most of the dirt off. Cleaned up pretty decently. No pin backs, no posts, just just the flat, but enough to know what it is. Got another collar disc here, US. We'll clean it up. Hey. Collar disc. That was a long day. I was out there quite a bit, but had a good time. So happy to have this be the last find. I've cleaned up pretty well. Same as the other two, although it has a little bit of a remains of a back on it. Not much. Um, but I'm happy to have all of them. Uh, hope you're all out there digging it, and see you next weekend.